brother, back to you. All right, man. All right, come on up a little closer, man. Let me talk to you. Let me holler at you. All right, now you hear all this with the big going through, right? So what you gotta do? You gotta keep this, right? You gotta keep God's commandment, right? You wanna be blessed, right? Do Revelation 1 and 3. Revelation 1 and 3, man. Cause it's very important that you start applying these commandments to your life, man. To get through whatever you're going through. How can God help you, man, if you're not applying the commandments? We're gonna see right here. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. You said one thing, you said, do you read the Bible? You look at it. Maybe every now and then you might read a little bit. But one thing what you gotta do, you gotta make time to get in this Bible. You got a Bible? You got a phone? You got a cell phone? Hey, download the app. They got Bible apps on the phone. Hey, it's no excuse to not, not know the Bible. Like if you got a, a cell phone, a smartphone, you can download this. Because you know what she's got to start getting into the Bible. Start reading. All right, we'll start from the top. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. You say, here, you've been hearing all these words, right? What the brothers before me brought out, right? You know, uh, your friend is. You took your head off, right? You did that commandment. That's a simple commandment you can do, but what you did? You applied the commandment. So not only by doing that, you got to do what? Apply the rest of it. You know, can you do it in one day? But you got to start somewhere, bro. You got, got to get your mind right and start doing what? Getting in the Bible and start trying to learn these prophecies and commandments. I mean, no, commandments, I'm sorry. And start applying them to your life so you get better. I read. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. You see that? All right. I know you watch the news. You watch the news. So what you got to say, you see everything going on, right? Fight war, right? Ukraine, Israel fight now. You see what all these things is in the Bible is coming forth before our eyes. But what we want to do? We got to be going to our command. When Christ come back today? If Christ come back today, we be satisfied with you. Well, do you think you make the kingdom of heaven? Is Christ crack that scalp today and come back? Will you be ready to go to the kingdom? Do you think you'll make the kingdom of heaven? You think you will? But like I said, but one commandment is wearing your fringes. You can lose your guy. Christ come back and see you, no fringes. He'll kill you. Because why? You're not doing the commandments. You got a beard. That's one commandment is your beard. You know, you're not shaving your head. That's a commandment. You know, but you got to get those fringes. You got to start playing the scripture. All right, give me a Surah 5 or 7. Without all that. Give us a Surah 5 or 7. Come man, you got to make haste. We got to we gotta go ahead and start doing God's commandments today. Whatever commandment you can start today, this Sabbath, you got to start applying. Now, and then the next day, and the next day, and so you start growing and start doing it every day. You go, hey, you don't want to do God's command. Because one thing God said, you got to keep them as an eye for a guy. Hold on, I'm going to get that to you. Let me read this. Read. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. It said, don't take your time to come to the Lord. You got your chance now. One thing you done, took your head off. That's one commandment, right? So what you got to do, you can't just go around. Okay, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to wait till the next day. Then Christ created that scout, but then you caught without your friends. You know, caught with another woman and you're not married. Breaking God's commandment. You think that's all right? It's not all right. You can't, you can't make the kingdom of heaven without doing God's law. Read. And putting that off from day to day. See what you said? Don't put it out there today. I'll wait till tomorrow. Are, are we guaranteed to live tomorrow? We're not even guaranteed to make it to the nighttime. You're not guaranteed to make it across this road. Right. You understand that? Because you might get killed, but yet you're going to die in sin, right? For suddenly, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. You see that? The day of vengeance when Christ come back. Christ is not going to come back with hugs and kisses. Because like I said, what, what Christ you know of right here? What one of you Christ you know of? What one look like Christ to you? Well, you been taught. This right here. This right here, right? See, that Christ right there, that's, that actually is a real man. And a lot of our people worship that man. But he's fake. He's a real man. He's a real white man. And a lot of our people worship him. Instead, on the other side, what the Bible describes is what? Because you know what? You, you won't worship God, I mean, worship Christ, but you don't know what he look like. All right? Read up. I mean, uh, uh, start from the top. I'm sorry. Start from the top. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. 
For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You see that? The wrath of God gonna come forth because even like I said before, if you don't have your fringes, what, what Christ gonna do to you when you come back? What you think? What you think Christ gonna do to you? Okay, okay, okay. I can't hear you. Say what now? Say it again. I'm not, I can't, I'm not hearing you. Oh, I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, right. Okay, all right. We're going to teach you the right thing, man. We, we, hey, we're here for you, man. We're not going to try to bash you, but what we're going to do is try to teach you according to what the Bible says. All right? Because one thing, what you got to do, you say you didn't know what Christ looked like, right? Because one thing, you got to know who you worship. Let's get that. Go to the idea of Christ. Because... The brother, you don't actually know who the what Christ looked like. And you said right here, this is Christ you know, right? This is Christ you know, right? But actually over here, it's a true true image of Christ. All right, go to uh, Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. See, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. All right? Now we're going to show, the scripture is going to show you what actually Christ looked like. And we're going to co compare these two pictures, all right? You know? Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right. It said were well, white like wool. Who got woolly hair? On this planet, what people got woolly hair? Like my beard, your hair. It's woolly, right? Uh, some people might say nappy. All right, who, who over here got woolly hair? This one or that one? We're not saying this is Christ. It's just a representation of what you, the Bible say, okay? But actually this person right here, this is a, this is a picture of actually a real person. A real white man called Caesar Bojera. All right. They said, now nah, read from the top again. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right. Which one of these pictures got woolly hair? Who got woolly hair right here? Who got the, who's, who got the so-called nappy hair? Right here, right? All right. So it knocked this one out already, right? He got what? Stringy hair. His hair is straight and stringy. All right, don't say that, all right, As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right, it's showing the picture here. It's showing his eyes, like it, the, the eyes, his eyes are red, right? So actually, his eyes is red because why? He drank wine. You know what it said? What was Christ's first miracle, you know? Christ's first miracle in the Bible? We're making wine. All right, and so, uh, go ahead and get you the prophecy. Go to Genesis. We're going to show you that Christ actually drank wine in the Bible. But Bible, he didn't get drunk now. So when you drink, what color your eyes turn? When you drink some wine or a strong drink? Your whites of your eyes, what color they turn? They turn red, right? All right, let's get that. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Bring it up. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with what? Shall be red with wine. That was the first miracle. His, he, he made some wine and he spent a little bit. He get drunk. Because the scripture say what? Be sober. Don't get drunk. You drink a little something, something, but what? You can't get drunk. The Bible speaks against that. All right, let's go back to Revelation. All right, read that. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burn in a furnace. All right. You burn anything in a fire, what color does it turn? You put something in a fire, it turns what? Like wood. As it burn up, as it burn, what color is it? Huh? But like I said, okay, you burn, okay, burn a piece of paper, a uh, piece of wood. What color is it that you burn it up? It says burn, that's, that's going past 10. It don't burn, burn up. <laughs> so so what color is, is anything you put in the fire? Okay, like toast. You put some bread in the oven, you forget about it, what color did it turn? Green, a black, turn black, because it burn up. All right, so what color is this man right here? They say he, he dark, he real dark. What is it saying? The brother was real dark. Jesus was a dark man. So is this the Christ the Bible talking about? Or is this the Christ the Bible talking about? So we're going to black over here. Right here, right? All pray. All right, so now we know the identity of Christ. Now you know what Christ looked like according to the Bible, right? So you understand that? You with me? You understand what the color of Christ is? 
You understand? Okay, I'll pray.